Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon greetings from Frederick, Maryland. Today is uh, Monday, October 14, 2024. Local time is 1.27 p.m. Temperature is 60, 61 degrees. Our current odometer reading, it is 741,100, uh, no, 741,994.8. All right, today is uh, the first day of me back to work after a short, a very, very short uh, six days at the house more like five and a half. I got home at about eight o'clock in, in the evening on last Tuesday, which is October 8th. And now I'm back to work on Monday. Not a complete eight hour break, but eight days break, seven days. No, not a complete six days break. But, gotta get back to work, pay the bills. Mama and I are planning to go home to the Philippines for the first time in 23 years. Not to mention it's extremely expensive out there right now. Anyway, I don't want to drag all the politics. Who's to blame, right? It is what it is. Alright, we are uh, designated to pick up a load out of New Oxford, Pennsylvania. At the... Uh, Plainville Foods It's showing 111 miles But it's more like I don't know 30 or 50 That's because it's taking us the long route I don't know why this GPS does not want to Oh turn too soon this thing always gets me Ugh. need to get back over yeah for some reason it doesn't want to take highway 15 north like a dope. Somebody's letting us over. Very nice. Thank you, Lord. Okay, 
so the plan is to uh, let me backtrack a little bit some of you are probably wondering how did your vacation go what did you do where did you go me and mama went absolutely nowhere we stayed at the house lounged around enjoyed each other's company no cooking nothing just relaxing a lot of a lot of sleeping so that was pretty pretty boring stuff to tell on the internet <laughs> So the plan is to uh, stay out in the road until about, although I'm, I'm hoping for the boss to send me by Wisconsin uh, before election day, preferably before election day. I just need to swing by the house and cast my very, very important vote. And uh, not even staying at the house, just vote and go. I advise you to do the same. I encourage you to do the same. Look, I I really don't care who you vote for. Really don't. I mean, sure. I want you to vote for one way or the other, but whatever, go and vote. Let's get it over with. I think my wife says that she's gonna stick this, stick this one out. She's staying home for uh, this election uh, cycle. So that's the plan. Stay out till uh, before election. And uh, you gotta get home before Thanksgiving to pick up AJ in Minnesota and bring her home for uh, Thanksgiving. And then bring her back to Minnesota after Thanksgiving. Then I go back to work and probably stay out until uh, Christmas Eve. So stay home for a week on Thanksgiving and then go home for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And that's about it. As you can tell, the trees over here are, uh, they're beginning to show their beautiful colors. That's all I have for you for now. Later. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon greetings from New Oxford, Pennsylvania. Currently traveling on Highway 30, the historic Highway 30, easterly bound. 
We are down to 3.3 miles to Plainville Foods. Oh, look at that gold doing over there. It looks very lonely. I don't know. I have been I have been torturing myself in recent weeks. I have started to watch Goldwing videos, Honda Goldwing videos, uh, travels and adventures, and it, sometimes it hurts. And I'm thinking to myself, why am I doing this? Why am I watching all this? There's nothing I can do about it. So why torture myself? I guess I am not... I am not the kind of person that can watch a... motorcycle video... and just enjoy watching it. It's like it's really torturing to watch it if I can't do it myself. I can't tell you how many times I've said to myself, stop watching it. Don't watch it. And I end up <laughs> I end up going back and watch it over and over again. I highly encourage you to watch uh, Living Off the Slab. Living Off the Slab, like a concrete slab. Uh, Craig. Craig something. Ripley. His name is Craig Ripley. He recently uh, finished. trip to Alaska I think you guys are gonna like the way he rides but for me it is it is beautiful if it's very nicely done and also frustrating He does it so well that I want to do it. I want to learn from him. But I'm so broke I can't even pay attention. As the song goes, dreaming must be dreaming. Yeah, look at those RVs. It'd be nice, right? Okay, the local time is 2.31 p.m. Our scheduled pickup is 6 p.m. So we're uh, about three and a half hours early. I'm hoping that uh, they would assign me to a door and then just let me go to sleep.
we'll catch you later. All right, everybody, we've been assigned to door five. Johnny would show up for work today. I doubt it. I guess one shot John is still on vacation. Indefinitely. the whales. We need to chop the whales. and pick up our bills. If I'm not mistaken, these are just about 12 pallets. Yeah, very light load. Probably not even 12.
but we better get out of here. It's, I think it's gonna rain really hard. Very nasty surprise. Today is to reach the pilot truck stop in uh, Gordonsville, Tennessee, which is 675 miles away. That seems to be the halfway point between here to uh, Arlington, Texas. So if I can make it there, if I can make it there, then uh, I'll do the rest of it tomorrow. I'm gonna follow Interst uh, I'm gonna follow Highway 30 West again back to Highway 15 South and take that all the way to past Fredericks, Maryland and somehow make it all the way down to Front Royal, Virginia. they do that I have no idea it seems like a, a whole lot of waste of uh, space but they're paying full price so it's good for business <laughs> behind us. Hopefully it will still be a little bit of a fair weather going south. One can hope. 